Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this Python programming video series, we'll not only talk about how to write Python programs, but also we'll write the Python program, execute the Python program, and we'll show you the output. In this whole series, we'll talk about how to write Python programs, concepts we need to learn, rules we need to follow, etc. But today in this tutorial, we'll see how to run Python programs. To write and run Python programs, first we need to install Python in our system. Python should be installed in our system. I already made a video on how to download and install Python on Windows. I will give you the link of that video in the description box. If you haven't watched that, go and check it out. Alright, now let's see how to run Python programs on Windows. We can run our Python programs in two ways. One is in the interactive mode, another one is script mode. In the interactive mode, as we enter the command and press enter, and in the very next step, we'll get the output. This mode is very convenient for writing the very short lines of code. And in the script mode, we'll write the Python program in a file and save that file with the .py extension and we'll execute that file using Python interpreter. So first let's see how to run Python programs in interactive mode. For that, first go to start menu and here search Python. And here you can see Python 3.12 app. Click on that. And it will open up Python command prompt, Python 3.12. This is the version of Python installed in your system. And here you can see three greater than symbol. This symbol indicates that we are in the interactive mode. The commands will be executed in interactive mode. Here you can write your program. I'll use print function. And I'll print a message. And if I press enter now, in the next line, you can see the output. Hello YouTube family or you can print another message and if I press enter here you can see the programs and me or you can take And result is 15 it will add the numbers and will print the result okay so in this way you can run your Python code interactively using Python command prompt and we can do this using command prompt also for that first exit and open up the command prompt type CMD and here you can see command prompt here you need to write Python and here you can see the version of python as well as three greater than symbol it indicates that we are in the interactive mode now and here you can write your code and here you can see the output in this way you can run your python programs in interactive mode Next, let's see how to write Python programs in a file and how to run or execute that using Python interpreter. For that, to write Python programs, we need a text editor. Here, I'll use notepad. And in the notepad, let's write a code. The first step is to write the program. Next step is we need to save this file. So you can go to file and save and here you can select any location to save your file. Here I'll save my file in the desktop. Here you can see and here you need to give file name. I'll give my file name as first dot py py extension. Then here save as type as all files and save. Now I'll close this. 
and here in the desktop you can see my python file now to execute this file open up the command prompt and in the command prompt to execute the python program first you need to write command python followed by file name dot py here if i type that now like my file name is first dot py and enter we'll get error that is can't open file in this location so our file is not present in that in this location so first we need to find the location of our file so for that first we need to right click on the file and here go to properties and in this properties here you can see location just copy this okay close this and in the command prompt first we need to change the directory for that use cd command and paste that location first we need to change the directory we need to go to the directory in which our file is present for that we are using change directory command and enter so now just type python first dot py and here you can see result is 9 this is the output of our program let's write another program first open up the notepad and write the program okay save the file okay so let's save this file in the another location that is in the desktop inside the my program folder and here i'll give my file name as second.py and here all files and save close this and now here in the desktop if i open my program folder here we can see our file go to command prompt first we need to change the location properties your location copy enter and python followed by file name enter hello welcome to my youtube channel you can uh, execute this in another way also that is first you need to write the program and you need to create the file then go to the file location that is my file is present in the desktop and my program folder so go here and here you can see in the location bar you can type cmd here here we are opening the command prompt in this location cmd and enter it will open the command prompt with this location so no need to change the directories to execute the program you can just type python and file name this is the another way and if our file name contains two words that is if i change my file name that is in this program if i change my file name to my first like this there is a space between my file name and if i give dot py and all documents all files and save that in the desktop and here you can see my file my first in the file name there is a space and if i want to execute this first go to the location of the file here the file is present in the desktop here you can see and in the location bar open up the command prompt and here we need to write python command followed by the file name right my file name is my first dot py and if i execute this it will give error because when there is a space between the file name you need to include that within the quotes like here double quotes my space first dot py and close the double quotes and now if i execute this it will give the result okay 
Next, if you don't want your output in the command prompt, that is if you want to redirect, if you want to save your output in another file, you can also do that. For that, I'll execute this file first, which is present in desktop. So here, open up the command prompt in this location. And here we want to execute file first, python first dot py. We want to redirect our output to another file. So use this symbol and here create another file output dot txt. It is a text file and output will be stored in this file. If this file is already present, it will rewrite that file. If that file is not present, it will create that file. Okay. Now execute this. Here we can't see the output, right? But here in the desktop, here we can see output. There is a file called output text file. If I open this, here we can see result is 9. Output is stored in this text file. In this way, we can redirect the output to another file. Okay, this is all about how to run Python program using command prompt. Next, let's see how to run Python programs using IDLE. For that, go to the start menu search ideally here you can see ideally click on this and here you can see ideally at the top you can see the python version and here you can see three greater than symbol that means we are in the interactive mode and commands will be executed in the in the interactive mode here you can type hello and it will give you the result if you want to run your program in the interactive mode, here you can use this Python shell. And if you want to write the Python program in a file, then here go to file and new file or you can press control N. And here in the new file, you can and save this file. So you can press control S or you can go to file and save and you can choose the location if I want I can save this in the desktop and file name okay dot py extension save as type python file save and here in the desktop you can see our python file to run this python program go to run and here run module or you can press F5 also and here you can see the output. You can run Python programs in the interactive mode as well as in the script mode using Python ideally. Okay, so this is about how to run Python programs on Windows. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then take care.